Hi everyone, thank you for joining in. I would like to present you the third episode of my tape saga. A review of newly released by ATR Cobalt Series compact cassette tapes. To be exact, ATR Cobalt Silver and ATR Cobalt Gold 60 minutes compact cassette tapes. So without further ado, let's start with unboxing and overview. I always wanted to have one of those and finally it's here in my hands. I would like to start from ATR Cobalt Silver. Quite simple packaging, not much to write home about besides that it's made in USA, which is quite rare these days. Inside the Norelco styled storage box, we've got hard paper inlay or J-card if you prefer and a pack of stickers, just as it's supposed to be. The storage box itself, made well, has a good sort of classic feel to it. Looking closer at the cassette itself, the cassette housing seems to be made of better quality plastic and has a quite good weight to it. Overall, looks good, although not so special. I'll continue with the Cobalt Gold 60 minutes. Quite simple packaging, same as the previous model, not so much to write home about, honestly. But as soon as I opened the case, it was easy to see that this model is quite different from the previous one. The storage box itself is very good, seems to be a bit sturdier and in general just slightly better made. It also has the same quality hard paper inlay or J-card and stickers as in case with cobalt silver. And now the cassette. In short, it looks great. Besides beautiful reels, which some can describe as an absolute gimmick, but I'm sincerely in love with watching it spinning, it also has tape mechanic stabilizer, which is supposed to improve wow and flutter. It feels slightly heavier than the regular ones, so to say. The film or tape, if you prefer, is very dark. Seems to be slightly different from the cobalt silver cassette tapes. As I understood, this magnetic tape has been manufactured in Springfield, United States by the National Audio Company or NAC. It has new cobalt formulation and then rebranded by ATR or maybe it was just licensed by ATR. Unfortunately, it's not really clear and ATR did not provide any information about it. Okay, done with unboxing and let's continue with testing. For start, I would like to perform an easy rewind test. For this test, I would use my Akai GX35. So let's see. I'll start from beautiful ATR Cobalt Gold. It is indeed a very easy test, but it was always working well. And now, ATR Cobalt Silver. Both cassettes were quite good. Even I dare to say that in my opinion, both of them are far less noisy than the average Type 2 Chromium class compact cassette tapes, even those produced in the 90s. Next would be a recording test, where I would record music piece with and without fine bias in order to test audio recording limits and overall quality. For this test, I would use my old friend Teak V1050 3-head compact cassette tape deck. So let's start.
And just to compare, Maxell XL 90 minutes Chromium Class Type 2 cassette tape, which is actually a Ferry Cobalt one. And this time without fine bias adjustment. Ok, enough testing for today, let's talk about the results. As you could see and hear, both ATR Cobalt series tapes were not very bad, but also not as good as it could be. I believe it has a lot to do with the hardware I've used for the test. My Teak V1050 was simply not capable of recording well on these tapes. Probably this particular Ferry Cobalt formulation is quite heavy, so to say, and requires a better cassette deck in order to make high quality recording, like for example one of the Akai GX95 or 75, Sony high-end series, Teak V8030 or 6030, and some serious knocks, obviously. It's all because of the quality of magnetic recording head and better bias level calibration system, where it's possible to go beyond 20% in bias level calibration variation, which is the standard on the late generation on budget and some premium models of the compact cassette tape decks, which were produced in the 1990s. The presence of the stabilizer and reels on ATR Cobalt Gold makes a big difference. Tape runs smooth, the sound reproduction is more stable, as I would say, it is absolutely not a gimmick. To summarize it all, the ATR Cobalt series compact cassette tapes is a very nice high quality premium product. If properly used, it is capable of making fantastic hi-fi studio quality audio recordings with very low noise levels, low row and flutter and wider dynamic range than usual, so to say, type 2 chromium class compact cassette tapes. But it definitely needs serious hardware to work with. Bravo ATR, very very well done. And that would be all for now. Thank you for joining in, thumbs up if you liked it, please subscribe and see you all next time.